Yep. Call the meeting of the City Council to order for Monday evening, July 27, 2015. Please stand as we salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councils, and good evening to our guests that are here. Uh, here this evening. Councillor DiNapoli. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pre President. Uh, this evening, we, uh, I would like to uh, have a, a, a late file and have it moved under suspension of the rules. We have three fire promotions tonight we'd like to move forward. Second. Motion has been made and seconded that we accept the late file and we're going to suspend the rules and we're going to confirm this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? Mr. President, and the, uh, the Chief is on vacation, but Deputy uh, Chief Galligan is, is here tonight. Very good. Thank you. Deputy Chief, if you want to... Good evening, Councillors. These promotions are due to vacancies from retirement. These uh, members receive the highest scores in the civil service examination. There will be one captain and two lieutenants. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Clerk. The promotion of Fire Lieutenant Edward R. Williams to the rank of Fire Captain in the Brockton Fire Department. This promotion is due to the retirement of Fire Captain Thomas E. Goodale. Lieutenant Edwards R. Williams is the number one candidate on the current <coughs> Human Resources Fire's captain list. Promotion of Firefighter Christopher Gallant to the rank of Fire Lieutenant Brockton Fire Department. This promotion is due to the retirement of Fire Lieutenant Roger Orcourt. Fire, uh, fighter Christopher Gallant is the number one candidate on the current Human Resources Fire Lieutenant list. <clears throat> the promotion of Firefighter Michael Feeney to the rank of Fire Lieutenant, Brockton Fire Department. This promotion is due to the retirement of Fire Captain Thomas E. Goodale. Firefighter Michael Feeney is the number two candidate on the current Human Resource Fire's Lieutenant list. The question now is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Hazard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sadinsky. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The uh, nominations are confirmed. Uh, Councilor DiNapoli. Mr. President, move for reconsideration in hopes it doesn't prevail. Again. Motion Second. for made and seconded for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. And the appointments are confirmed. I meant to say my apologies. Will those gentlemen please stand? Obviously loved by your peers, so that's an excellent, excellent sign right there. So we're going to take just about a two-minute recess. So, did he want to say anything? Also, Councillor, we're going to take a two-minute recess so uh, people can gather to, to congratulate you at this time.
Brady? They're on. I know, I saw that picture. Council, back in session, please. <laughs> I do want to mention that Council Sullivan contacted me today. He is on vacation. That's why he is not here, uh, here this evening. With that being said, Mr. Clerk. The appointment of Lawrence M. Siskin as a trustee of the Brockton Public Library for a three-year term ending July 2018. Referred to finance. We have the petition of elegant auto body repair and rental for motor vehicle repair mechanical body license located at 45 Cottage Street, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, June 1st, 2015. Hearing is signed for July 27, 2015. All the necessary uh, paperwork is on file in the Clerk's Office, and the Fire Department has no objections. Time having arrived to clear the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor of this petition, please come forward and state your name and address to the Clerk. Is that, the Is that the gentleman? <coughs> Good evening, sir. You're here for the repair and rental for the motor vehicle um, mechanical body license at 45 Cottage Street, correct? Correct. And your name is? Antonio Almeida. Okay. And you want to be identified, sir? I'm just, uh, I'm actually just with him. I'm the landlord, Sung J Park. Very good. Okay. And anything you'd like to say, sir? I'm just very happy that he became my tenant. That's all I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone else? Uh, anything else you want to say? That's all? No. Is there anyone else here that wants to be heard in favor of the uh, petition? I'd ask them to come forward at the same time. Seeing none. Council Monahan, did you have anything you wanted to indicate? Uh, yes, Mr. Point? President. I talked to Mr. Almeida before we the uh, meeting tonight and uh, went over a few stipulations with them. Um, the hours of operations are going to be uh, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. No Sundays or holidays. Saturdays will be 8 to, to uh, noon. Uh, 15 car storage inside. There will be no storage of any par auto parts or vehicles outside. No customer parking on Carter Street or Father Kenny Way. Uh, no outside venues, machines, and um, I think that's about it. Okay, very good. And you understand all those... You understand all those stipulations that the council has placed uh, with you, correct? Okay. And the landlord, obviously, he understands as well. Okay. Um, anybody against? Yeah, anybody uh, uh, at this time, if there's anybody here in opposition to the hear, uh, hearing, please come forward and state their name and address to the clerk as well. Anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. I, and at this time, I declare the hearing closed. Now it's on. Councilor, I believe there is somebody in opposition. Oh. Or at least wants to be heard. Okay, sorry, I, I reopened that part of the hearing for opposition. Good evening, Claire Appling. Uh, Good evening, Dr. Appling. I'm in Brockton, Massachusetts. So I think many of you know me. Uh, they, I don't know if I'm for or against at this point because I just had the initial information for the first time a few minutes ago. But I know that there are some concerns that were about the hours and about the parking for customers because Cottage Street is one way north to south. And there are just about, I think, four spaces there. The rest is metered parking going up to the uh, courthouse through there. And then you're at the entrance to the garage. So I don't know, you know, where the customers would be uh, parking. The hours were the other concern no with church services. That's what we have. So that, I think, is the main concern. Okay. Very hours the parking. Mr. President. And uh, uh, through uh, to Council Monahan, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Almeida addressed that. Anybody that is, going, is a customer of his will leave the car inside, and that's where they'll be we parked before it is worked on. As, as in the stipulations, there are no parking on customer parking on Cottage Street or Father Kenny Way. Nothing outside. <laughs> the, all stores will be inside for the work. They get 15 spots. So if, if they drop their car off, it'll be worked on inside, picked up inside. The That's Very part good. of the stipulations. Okay, so, so it's a part of the stipulations that there be no parking on, on oh. Cottage and on Father Kenny Way. Exactly. And nothing left overnight there that would be left out for parking as Everything well. Everything stored yeah. inside. Everything stored inside. Inside. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Appling. Anybody else here in opposition? Then I declare that part of the hearing closed. And the hearing closed. And uh, at this point in time, we would be taking a, a vote to, to grant as stipulated uh, by the council. All in favor? Opposed? License been grant, granted to you as stipulated as the agreements that you've heard with, the, with you and the council. Okay? Thank you.
We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of July 20th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Mass Division of Fisheries and Wildlife Division providing commentary on the proposed Category 1 gaming establishment in Brockton, Mass. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor appointing Kate McNamara Federoff to the position of Senior Assistant City Solicitor full-time for the City of Brockton, effective July 6, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development on behalf of the Department requesting authorization to accept and expend the 7500 grant from the Mass Historic Commission 2015 Survey and Planning Grant Program for our downtown Brockton preservation project. The required 50% match will be allocated from the Brockton Redevelopment Authority CDBG funds. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the City Solicitor requesting an appropriation of funds to the fiscal 2016 Law Department budget in the amount of $50,000 in order to fully fund the newly created position of Senior Assistant City Solicitor full-time, which was passed by Ordinance Number 156, approved on May 19, 2015. The ordinance was adopted after the budget was submitted. Accepted and placed on file. Recommation, uh, <coughs> communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending an appropriation of $6,395,631 from physical 2016 unappropriated estimated receipts of Water Enterprise Fund to DPW Water Enterprise Desale fixed <coughs> charge six million three hundred ninety five thousand six hundred and thirty one dollars. This appropriation will allow the Water Department to pay fiscal 2016 diesel fixed charges to Viola as obligated by co contract in a home rule petition. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the COFO recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Director of Social Services request acceptance of Substance Abuse Prevention Collaborative uh, SAPC grant from Mass Department of Public Health in the amount of $700,000 through June 30th, 2022 for a maximum obligation of $100,000 each fiscal year beginning July 1, 2015. The purpose of this grant is to implement local policy practices, systems, and environmental change to prevent underage drinking and other drug use. This, there is no grant match from the city. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requests an authorization to expend grant funds related to the Old Colony Planning Council Fiscal 15 Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program funds and the amount of 20000 for pedestrian bicycle safety. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the Chief of Police requests an authorization to expend grant related to the Executive Office Public Safety and Security Fiscal 15 Senator Charles E. Shannon Community Safety Initiative Supplement, order and the amount of $54,863.79. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending the City Council authorize the appropriation and borrowing authorization of $400,000 for the purpose of stormwater management planning in accordance with the attached form of order suggested by Bond Council Richard Manley of Locke Lord Edwards in a letter dated July 20th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5, Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying that the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of $400,000 for stormwater management planning provided the city obtains the authority of the voters by means of a referendum to exclude the annual cost of the debt service from the provisions of Proposition 2.5. 
This is a conditional certification which must be included on the face of the City Council order. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommended that City Council authorize the appropriation and borrowing authorization of $1,200,000 in order to purchase a new fire ladder truck in accordance with the attached form of order suggested by Bond Council Richard Manley of Lock Lord Edwards in a letter dated July 20th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed appropriation and borrowing the thoughts authorization of $1,200,000 in order to purchase a new file ladder truck, provided that the city obtains the authority of the voters by means of a referendum to exclude the annual cost of the debt service from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half. This is a conditional certification which must be included on the face of the city council order. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor. <clears throat> with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council authorize the appropriation and borrowing authorization of $1,840,000 for the purposes of various sewer system improvements in accordance with the attached form of order suggested by Bond Council Richard Manley of Lark Lord Edwards in a letter dated July 20, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication to the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Act of 1990, certifying the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of $1,840,000 for various sewer system improvements, provided that during the life of the loans, the City Council periodically adopts a rate structure which is capable of fully supporting all operating and maintenance costs of the sewer enterprise system, including debt service. This is a conditional certification which must be included on the face of the City Council order. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council authorize an appropriation of borrowing authorization of $3,810,000 for the purpose of improvements to water mains in accordance with the attached form of order suggested by Bond Council Richard Manley of Lork Lord. Edwards in a letter dated July 20th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication to the CFO in accordance with Section 5, Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed appropriation of borrowing authorization of $3,810,000 to pay cost improvements to the water mains, provided that the City Council enact a rate increase of 30% on each rate block as requested by the Water Commission provided further that if the increase is enacted in phases, that the full effect of that increase is reflected on all billings mailed no later than January 1, 2017, and provided further that thereafter the City Council periodically raises rates as necessary to ensure that the water revenues are sufficient to provide full recovery of the cost of operating and maintaining the Water Enterprise Fund including the cost of debt service. This is a conditional certification which must be included on the face of City Council order. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor with General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council authorize the appropriation of borrowing authorization of $4,880,000 for the purpose of paying the cost of water improvements at Silver Lake facility in accordance with the attached form of order suggested by Bond Council Richard Manley of Lock Lord Edwards in a letter dated July 20, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990 certify the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of $4,880,000 to pay costs of water improvements at Silver Lake facility provided that the City Council and acts a rate increase of 30% on each rate block as requested by the Water Commission, provided further that if that increase is enacted in phases, that the full effect of that increase is reflected on all billings mailed no later than January 1, 2017, and provide further that thereafter the City Council periodically raises rates as necessary to ensure that the water revenues are sufficient to provide full recovery of the cost of operating and maintaining the Water Enterprise Fund, 
including the cost of debt service. This is a conditional certification which must be included on the face of the City Council order. Except and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending that the City Council authorize the appropriation and borrowing authorization of $642,000 for various city vehicles in accordance with the attached order suggested by Bond Council Richard Manley of Locke, Lord Edwards in a letter dated 20, uh, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of 642000 for various city vehicles, provided that the city obtains the authority of the voters by means of a referendum to exclude the annual cost of the debt service from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half. This is a conditional certification which must be included in the face of the City Council order. Except in a place to file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council authorize the appropriation and borrowing authorization of $234,000 for the purpose of buying departmental equipment for the planning department and voting machines from the Board of Elections in accordance with the attached form or order suggested by Bond Council Richard Manley of Lock Lord Edwards and a later dated July 20, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of $234,000 for departmental equipment, provided that the city obtains the authority of the voters by means of a referendum to exclude the annual cost of the debt service from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half. This is a conditional certification which must be included in the face of the City Council order. Except in the place on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 15, Supplemental, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Local Action Research Grant, in the amount of $8,315.79. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending that the City Council approve the increased fee changes to the City ordinances which have not been raised since 2008. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Order that the City Council of the City of Brockton acting pursuant to Chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws hereby approves the Downtown Brockton District designates the City of Brockton Planning and Economic Department, directs the City of Brockton Assessing Department, and authorizes the Planning Department to take any other action in connection with the approval of the district. In Council, May 26, 2015, ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilor Rodriguez. Mr. President, thank, yes. you, very, thank you very much. I, um, I hereby move to amend the, uh, the foregoing order by deleting paragraph 4 of this order. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to amend the order. I believe it's paragraph number four. Uh, our attorney is receiving that right now. Just give him In City Council, July 27, 2015, I hereby move to amend the foregoing order by deleting paragraph 4. Council uh, Rodriguez. Motion was made and seconded to Mr. President. I'm amend. sorry, um, could we have the entire order read, please, as amended? Do we have that order? Uh, we have it here? Yeah, we do here. Authorize said Department of Planning and Economic Development to take any other action in connection with the approval of the district. Any other, any other questions? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome. So the motion was made and second to amend this order by eliminating paragraph number four. All in favor of the amendment? Opposed? One and two uh, in opposition to the... Uh, but it passes. And now we're going to, now the question is on adoption by a roll call uh, vote as amended 
Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azan. Yes. Cruz. Uh, yes. Annapolis. No. Dubois. No. Ayaneri. No. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. No. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Five in the affirmative, four in the negative. Passes. Oh, <coughs> An ordinance amending part two of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton be ordained by the city council of the city of Brockton as follows. Part two of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton is hereby amended by increasing various fees. Refer to, the, uh, refer to ordinance. An ordinance amending chapter 23 of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton be ordained by the city council of the city of Brockton as follows. Pursuant to chapter 23, section 30, paragraph F, line 6, in substitution for the water rate increase proposed by the Brockton Water Commission on February 10, 2015. Referred to ordinance. An ordinance amending the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 12, be ordained by the City Council as follows. Chapter, I'll strike that, Chapter 13, uh, ordained by the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 13, procurement, hereby amended by adding the following new section, Section 13-50, letterhead requirements. Refer to ordinance. Ordered in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the special state primary will be held on Tuesday, October 6, 2015, and the special state election to be held on November 3, 2015. Refer to finance. Order that the Department of Planning and Economic Development is hereby authorized to accept and expend the $7,500 grant from the Mass Historical Commission 2015 Survey and Planning Grant Program for the Downtown Brockton Preservation Project. Refer to finance. Order that the sum of $400,000 is appropriated to pay costs of stormwater management planning, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to Chapter 44 and or Chapter 29C of the General Laws are pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the City. Referred to finance. Order that the sum of $1,200,000 is appropriated to pay costs for purchasing a new fire ladder truck and for payment of all costs incidental related thereto and to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer with the approval of the Mayor is authorized to borrow $1,200,000 under and pursuant to General Laws Chapter 44 Section 7 and 9 of the General Laws are pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the city. Referred to finance. Council Dubois. May I ask that on all these bond authorizations that the person who's noted as writing the letter in, in the, uh, when the city clerk is recounting um, the previous items, like uh, when they talked about as stated in the bond letter submitted by so-and-so, can we include Mr. So-and-so as the invitee on for finance so we can get his verbal support? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I think you're referencing that, that particular last na that name that he reads at the end of the order. Yeah, he wrote the bond authorization yeah, the, the, letter. In other words, a council bond. Yeah, the that council bond. You want that gentleman. That to. gentleman, if yes. If you could invite him, he might be able to answer our questions too. Sure. Yeah, we Thank can do that. Much. We can do that. No problem, council. Thank you. Okay, we're on 48. <clears throat> Audit that the sum of 1840000 is appropriated to pay costs of various sewer system improvements, including the payments of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Mayor, is authorized to borrow set amounts under and pursuant to Chapter 44 and or Chapter 29C general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the city. Referred to finance. The sum of 
$1,000 appropriated to pay costs of improvements to water mains, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto. And to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Mayor, is authorized to borrow a set amount under and pursuant of Chapter 44 and or Chapter 29C of the General Laws or pursuant to any other Naval and Authority and to issue bonds or notes to the City. Refer to finance. Sum of $4,880,000 appropriated to pay costs of water improvements, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant of Chapter 44 and or Chapter 29C of the General Laws are pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the City. Referred to finance. Out of the sum of six hundred and forty two thousand dollars is appropriate to pay costs of purchasing vehicles for the use of various city departments is set forth below vehicles including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto. One transit van for the public property department, $27,000. Six marked and four unmarked police crosses, $310,000. One box truck for the school department, $78,000. One bobcat for the school department, $47,000. Two Santa trucks for the DPW, $180,000, totaling $642,000. And to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Mayor, is authorized to borrow $642,000 under and pursuant to General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 7-9 of the General Laws, are pursuant to any other naval authority, and to issue bonds and notes of the city. Referred to finance. The sum of $234,000 is appropriated to pay costs of purchasing the items of department equipment described below, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto. Wide format color copier printer for the planning department, $14,000. Voting machines for the Board of Elections, $220,000. Total $234,000. And to meet that appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Mayor, is authorized to borrow $234,000 under and pursuant to General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 7-9 of the General Laws, are pursuant to any other naval authority, and to issue bonds and notes of the City. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $50,000 for unappropriated fiscal 2016 receipts from the general fund to law department personal services other than overtime for the purpose of fully funding the newly created position of senior assistant city solicitor, which was passed by ordinance number 156, approved on May 19, 2015. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $6,395,631 from fiscal 2016 on appropriate estimate receipts of Water Enterprise Fund to DPW Water Enterprise Diesel Fixed Charge, $6,395,631. This appropriation will allow the Water Department to pay the fiscal 2016 diesel fixed charges to Viola as obligated by contract and a home rule position. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $700,000 from the Mass Department of Public <coughs> Health Substance Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant to Office of the Mayor Substance Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant Fund. The purpose of this grant is to implement local policy, practice, systems, and environmental change to prevent underage drinking and other drug use. There is no grant match from the city. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $20,000 from the Mass Department of Highway, the IAO Colony Planning Council, Fiscal 15, Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program for Pedestrian Bicycle Safety Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 15, Traffic Enforcement Grant Fund. Referred to finance. An appropriation of $8,315,000. <coughs> uh, strike that. <laughs> An appropriation of $8,315.79 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security <coughs> Local Action Partner Research Grant Fund. These grant funds will be used to pay for evaluation efforts of the work being done under the Shannon Grant. Referred to finance. 
appropriation of $54,863.79 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 2015 Shannon Grant Community Safety Initiative Supplement Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department Shannon Community Safety Initiative Supplement Grant Fund for police overtime summer jobs for Shannon youth and programming for Shannon youth who are case managed by Old Colony Y staff. Referred to finance. Council Moynihan. Yes, uh, I'd like to make a motion for a late file. Motion made. Uh, do I have a second? second. Motion has been made and seconded uh, for a late file. I believe the clerk has the late file. All in favor of that late file? Opposed? Okay. Late file, the reappointment of James L. Bates, 21 Ash Street, Brockton, as the constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Mr. President. Council Dubois. I have a late file that the clerk has, and I'd like to take a minute. Second. Thank Motion you. been made and second to accept the late file and act upon it this evening under the suspension of the rules. All in favor of that? Opposed? I have, um, do you have it here? Or? No, I have the resolved here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a sewer connection. Sewer connection one. This one. Oh, not this one. I, that one. I, gave, it, I gave it to Attorney Gilday. I'm sorry. Clerk. Okay. <clears throat> Order that the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection to the property owned by George Bertrellis, care of Ralph Smith, located at 00 North Avenue, parcel ID 172-083. The question is uh, on an uh, adoption of that uh, order. Uh, by a roll call vote, Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. President, at this time I'd like to move for reconsideration in the hopes that it does not prevail. Motion for made. Second for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Council approves. And Mr. President, I have a uh, late file resolve uh, that can be sent to finance and that in, is in the motion hands of the clerk. Motion been made. Uh, have a second? Second. To second. accept, the, se accept the, the late file. All in favor of that? Opposed? And the clerk has that, uh, that late file. Resolved that the Brockton City Council urges the Massachusetts Game Commission to adhere to its announced timeline or aid to expect that expedite the time for the granting of a license in Region C based upon the withdrawal of KG Urban's application for a license in New Bedford and the existence of only one remaining application for mass gaming and entertainment for licenses in the City of Brockton. And be it fair to resolve that the Brockton City Council urges the Mass Gaming Commission to adhere to the purpose of the Mass Gaming Act to create economic investment and job creation in the Commonwealth and to fulfill the intent of Section 1 of the Act which emphasizes the creation of opportunities for the unemployed and be it further resolved that the city clerk be requested to forward a certified copy of this resolve to the Mass Gaming Commission. Take a vote on that, right? Take a vote. It's a little committee. Yeah, right. uh, at this time, councils, we're, we're acting upon this under uh, the suspension of rules this evening. And Mr. Clerk, would you please um, call the roll? Azan. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Denapoli. Yes. Wow. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Nine the, the order is adopted. Councilors, no. just uh, before we conclude, just so we have our schedule straight for the month of August, our next no. finance meeting will be the 17th, Monday evening the 17th at um, 7 o'clock p.m. here in the chambers, and as you can see by what's before us, we're going to have a very, very long uh, meeting, there's no doubt. So I just want you to be prepared uh, for that. And our next council meeting will be the following, which will be Monday, August 24th, 2015, right here at 8 p.m. in the council chambers. Finance, August 17th, city council, August 24th. Uh, 7 for finance and 8 o'clock for city council right here in the council chambers. I also just want to bring to your attention, councils, because I know a couple of councils had some questions, concerns last week in regards to the um, memorial we have at uh, Main and Center Street right where the uh, Trinity Village is being uh, um, constructed. Everything has been removed from there. I received a phone call on Thursday from the gentleman indicating that he wanted me to make sure that all councils knew this. 
and, and was con still concerned with our concern that we have previous, but that piece is now under construction. So it's going to be all back at some point in time, September to October, with a whole new park design there for our memorial, war memorial, and for the, for the veterans piece that's there. So I just want you to, to know that, uh, that that's what's going on there at that particular point. Any other um, business councils to come before this uh, meeting this evening? Seeing none, meeting's adjourned. <laughs>